M0 FXB. So you've got FTA up and running already. You've heard about Grid Tracker uh, and you want to download it so and set it up. So let's assume you've gone to Google, put in Grid Tracker, you've downloaded it. You can see what Grid, tra well, Grid Tracker does loads of things, but what I use it for is to see the live sort of transmissions and see all the stations that are that have got FT8 running and other digi modes. But to make it communicate with your program, I'm using WSJTX, you just need to add a few settings. So if I just go, assuming you've downloaded it and you've opened it, um, go to uh, File Settings. Now, I'll just let you know what I've done. Open up the one that's called Reporting. Okay, so see you up there. Then on the Grid Tracker page, go to this cog here, third one down on the right, and that's your settings cog. Now what you need to do is match these two up. So, T four T too many, too many radios running here as usual. So, um, right, let's get it right. So here you've got UDP messages. Now can you see UDP server? I've got that there. Those two need to match. Underneath you've got uh, UDP server port number. So that needs to be, the C ends in seven and it needs to match there. So those two match. And then down further, 2238 port and that needs to match as well. So you need to get them in the right boxes. I've got my call sign in here as well. Now if you look at what I've ticked, it's prompt me to log QSO, yeah. Um, automatic cost con testing only. Clear DX call and grid after logging. Enable PSK reporter uh, spotting, so that's enabled. Enable logged contact broadcast. And again, if you look here at the bottom, server port number. Well, oh, sorry, that was two two three eight. Which so the server port number needs to be the same there and the UDP server port number needs to be here so just watch this video carefully and if you set it up right immediately you'll start to get this this information and some of the live tracking stuff hope this helps m0fxb73 please subscribe to my channel